hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason Newland and this is what is this <laughs> I really should keep a track of this I know what it is I'm just checking the name of the podcast it is stress and pain relief podcast it's a new podcast but I'm going to share it on the other podcasts where uh, stress relief is you know required now some people may say well why are you putting those two things together stress relief and pain relief it's two different things on one level, yeah, it is completely different. But on another level, it's completely the same process to reduce stress. The same, you know, when you, if you if you have chronic pain, when you reduce your stress, you reduce the physical sensations of that chronic pain complaint so that's where I'm coming from and also I'm coming from many many years of doing this so I've been around for online for over 15 years making recordings for chronic pain relief stress relief sleep and all that kinds of stuff so this isn't new to people that listen to me regularly but when this particular podcast is launched once I've got maybe four, five, six recordings done on it then you know, it might be a different audience a new audience anyway so that's the explanation I hope, did I say only listen when you can safely close your eyes? I hope so. <laughs> so, this is both a stress reduction technique and a chronic pain relief technique. It's the same technique to help people with both things. Maybe at the same time or separately. So I'd like to, for us to spend a couple of minutes just getting in touch with how you feel generally within your body. Just generally getting in touch with how you feel in your arms your hands, how you feel in your legs, and your feet, how do you feel in your shoulders, your chest, how do you feel in your eyes, how do your eyes feel? What about your stomach? How is your stomach feeling right now? And your jaw, how does your jaw feel? Your mouth, tongue, lips, teeth and gums, your neck, not just your back of your neck, but your throat, the sides of your neck, your lower back, upper back, the sides, your elbows, 
toes, your forearms, your forehead, just being aware of how you feel. Now with stress as with chronic pain, it's likely to be a specific part of your body that requires the most attention, a part that is a higher level of stress or discomfort than the rest of your body. So what I'm going to ask you to do, and I'm going to do this at the same time, because I have a couple of parts of my body which has some chronic pain, my shoulder and my lower back. Also, yeah, I feel I'm going to focus on my lower back because that also feels quite stressed as I sit here. So I'm just going to, I'd like you to imagine, right? You got a, a marker pen. I'd like you to draw an outline around that part of your body. I don't mean around your body, but just for example, if it was your right knee. Just imagine drawing either a circle or a shape around the part of your knee that is causing physical discomfort. And Just notice, as you've drawn that outline, it's almost like a map, like you've drawn a, you know, around and made a little country all by itself, a little island. But at the moment, it's not an island because it's connected to all the other parts. So what we need to do is if you get yourself a blue marker pen and separate that part of your body with some blue ocean so you can just color in around it so as to make it an island on its own separate from any other part of your body. Which means that all the other parts of your body can feel probably a degree of relief to be disconnected from that part that maybe was quite stressful to be around. And that part itself, which is now an island, may have that a sense of quiet, a sense of peacefulness.
as well as having your attention because sometimes physical discomfort whether it be stress or otherwise it's a little bit like a crying baby it needs your attention doesn't necessarily require you to do anything but just hold the baby be there with that part of your body give it some attention show some caring some love some affection And that island can feel that attention. It's almost as you focus and give that part of your body attention. It's like you're providing the correct weather for it. So you're providing rain, you're providing sunshine so that the trees can grow and the plants can grow and everything can be really nice on that little island. And that period of time in the past when it felt almost as if Maybe that part felt as if it wasn't getting your attention and it wasn't having, wasn't being nourished, wasn't being given what it needed. Now can start to absorb and appreciate that healing energy that comes from just noticing just observing from caring and as the sea surrounding that island becomes thicker and deeper with more depth and width removing it further away from the other parts you notice that during the high tide the sea moves over and covers quite a lot of that island soothing it cooling it so maybe the heat from the day and the earth on that island being warm can then be cooled down as the tide rises. The splashes of the ocean Causing a breeze of calmness over that part of your body that's connected to that island. Really soothing and loose. feels feels like quite a nice place to visit actually and the more that sea that 
comes up onto the island during high tide washing the beach to the point where it's so much of the beach has actually washed away into the sea and then more comes back from the sea and as that high tide moves up further mix in the parts of the island with the sea surrounding the island it starts to become harder to distinguish between the island itself and the feeling of that cool ocean always moving, always changing, that healing ocean, calm and relaxing, calm and still. Just move on with the rest of your day. That part of your body can continue to enjoy feeling that sense of comfort and relaxation. me to the end of this recording. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be